just on the outskirts of the village. He had big ears and huge glasses that sat on his long nose. His sleeves were always too short for his arms, and his shoes were big as shovels to accommodate his rather large feet. The schoolhouse in which he taught was made of logs and was just one big room on the inside. It was a strong, secure little building that sat at the centre of a clearing. Ichabod lived in a small house in town and kept little company at home. But he did often venture out in the evenings, whether it be to a party at his neighbour's home or just around the corner to the pub. Wherever he was, marvellous tales of ghosts and ghouls were always mentioned. But it was the headless horseman who seemed to be a constant topic of conversation. It was often Ichabod who would delight his friends by telling these stories. He was a master storyteller. But as much as he appeared fearless while telling these stories, Ichabod was 